well, it seems I was wrong about Trump. Because Hillary can threaten war with Iran, she can threaten direct war with Russia, she can threaten to shut down the alternative media, she can lie when evidence has been subpoenaed, she can destroy that evidence. Um, she can be caught many times uh, lying and corrupting agencies. She can steal money from charities that are meant to go to Haiti to rebuild, meant to go to lots of other places. She can engage in espionage and selling all our nuclear secrets to enemies of our countries, enemies of America, enemies of the West. She can do all the things that other people get put in prison for decade upon decade upon decade for without any consequence. And yet Trump isn't allowed to say pussy. He's not allowed to say bitch. He's not allowed to say things because slurs are worse than genocide. Didn't you learn anything from outrage culture? Political correctness rules all here. All logic, all sense, <laughs> all common sense is gone. It's just completely gone. But Trump being admonished in the media disproportionately compared to his quote-unquote crimes. And the reason I do that is because there is no actual crime. Has he broke the law? No. Once. No. Then why are they making a story, every channel, just running story after story? Oh, Trump is terrible, Trump did this, Trump said that, Trump said this, Trump said that. No, he didn't actually do anything, he just said things. Well, but luckily... Most common sense, logical people realise that this outrage culture is now moribund, is now at its end, and uh, it can't go on because we are facing our destruction, our annihilation, and this election is a referendum on global technocracy and whether we have a future on this planet or not. It's a referendum on whether we continue with what they call foreign policy, which is basically war policy, and war policy will change under Trump. It won't be the new world order in charge. It won't be the technocracy. That is why Soros is throwing away everything he has and throwing everything he has to stop him. That is why the media is literally committing suicide to stop him. They have lost credibility, like they lost it during Brexit over here. And I know I sound like I'm repeating myself, but this has now become another story again. Trump said this, Trump said that. Trump has to issue an apology for saying bitch. Trump has to issue an apology for saying whatever. I don't think he should apologize. I think he should double down on the rhetoric. I think he should say, this is why people like me, and this is what people are sick of. People are sick of Blair and Obama and these salesman politicians who come in promising things. People want plain speaking honesty. And we're sick of lying politicians. We're just sick of it. We're sick of the establishment. We want to destroy it. We want to crush political correctness. I am of that generation and I'm proud to be. And I'm proud to also have common sense in this age of utter madness, this Kafkaesque world that we live in. You know, the one where someone saying a slur is worse than someone actually killing a hospital full of children. You only killed some children? God, that's nothing. I said this word. It's just absolutely pathetic. And people don't realise that it's weird or mad. I mean, people must realise that this is just insane. And I'm going to go further. I don't care about slurs. I don't care what words people use. I just want a change in direction. He can say whatever he wants. He can literally, literally say whatever he wants. I don't care. I've seen the uh, damage that Hillary's done. I've seen the destabilization of Libya. I've seen the destabilization of multiple countries. And I've seen how it started with neocon, neolib policy and PNAC and all these documents before 9-11 even happened. And I see how the Bush, Clinton crime families are connected. And I see how they're basically running the world into oblivion. And I see how they want to agitate Russia into a perpetual world war situation and blame it on Trump or blame it on Brexit or whatever. I know how these people operate and I'm not going to stand by and let it happen. And you shouldn't fall for this media bullshit anymore because the media blowing up this non-story out of all proportion to make it into a scandal that it isn't is egregious. And it shouldn't be accepted. And propaganda is a weapon. And it is being used and we are the victims. We are the victims of weaponized propaganda used against us constantly now. It doesn't even pretend anymore. And as I've said before, what do we do about it? We have to change it. We have to vote for change. And we should punish those who use propaganda or engage in it as collaborators like they did during The Hague because following orders isn't an excuse and it wasn't during The Hague so why is it now? I was just following orders isn't gonna cut it this time
We need Trump.